All right, so now that we have our interaction ready, what we can do is that we can start creating some alternative design. So if you remember, we also build the ears of this character. So if I disable the hair, we still have the base shape of this character, which is actually looking pretty nice. So what we can do is that we can, for example, create a um, version of this character with short hair. So let's say I can create a cube, something like this. Make sure that it's on zero in X. And perhaps it could be something like this. And a little bit to here. Or, yeah, maybe a little bit more like this. And then I can uh, convert this to a small subdivision shape. And then I um, can start doing a couple of things. Like for example, I can add a subdivision there and then I can start extruding this to the bottom. So I can have something like this. Actually, we can just move this to the bottom and that will be it. And now we can start shaping this model a little bit. Like for example, here, this will be something like this. And Maybe a little more here and something like this. And if you look from this side, we can shape these things a little bit more as well. I can move this like here. I can adjust the curvature to make it more like this. And I can also adjust in here to make it more like this. And also in here. And even in here, we can move it a little bit. Then we go to the front again. We can select these two and maybe we can do something like this and you can see that in a very short amount of time we can actually create um a hair uh, obviously this is looking really strange right now but um if you play around with it enough you can actually achieve something really nice so for example here um let's just finish the roundness and um, maybe something like this just making sure that we have a good roundness there and then a little bit more to the back side yeah and then for example uh, we can use again the hair color which we used before but um we can also have like more details like for example in here uh, i will imagine uh, it will be interesting to see some more details in this side so i could create like a new line in here and then this new line um it could have like for example we could do something like this Move this a little to, the, to this side, maybe move this a little to this side. More kind of like um, details, right? Like for example, um, here we can move this a little more to here, and then uh, to here, like this. Um, so we can play around with these values so we can have more kind of like a, an interesting structure right there. So in here, for example, on this side, we can also move it can move this to this to this uh, side in here and we can even if we want to select this point here and then it's true and then uh, we change the the scale something like that and then we move it and then that kind of makes it possible to have something like a little detail there right I'm gonna screw this and then scale Move to this side, scale this other side, adjust position, and then we move this one so we don't have any colliding here. We can also move this one at least a little bit, and we can also move this one. Actually, we don't need to move that one, we can move this one itself. That will help. And we can move this one to here and then to here. Then we have something like that. So, yeah, that's uh, you know how you can use these tools to create more details in your designs. So you can obviously keep playing around with the different settings, and you know you can create a more complex uh, shape. And now we have this right, which is um, you know let's say hair short. So now what we can do is that we can put all of those objects in a group, and this is gonna be you know avatar one. And then we can press Command D duplicate it's gonna be the second one then we can put this one in here 
and then so the first one is going to be using the hair that we have right now you can put it here and the other one is here so now we have two characters right now actually let's put these two over here yeah so that's how you can create different variations of characters um yeah you can even create uh, variations of the cloth for example um you know even something simple as maybe we did detach from this material and then we create something here that maybe it's more like yellow um or something like that and um so yeah you can you know you can do different type of variations um and explore ideas that you might have regarding you know your characters you can also create variations of you know other colors like the hair and you know the eyes and so on so for example if i duplicate this one in here and i put it here i can try let's say um this is going to be more like i don't know let's say maybe red or something like uh, pink slash grayish and um, somewhere around that and then um, for the hair let's say maybe it's just a little maybe it's like more shorter right so we can create something that looks more shorter and maybe a little bit more like this so and then uh, maybe we don't want this hair to be this color maybe we want the hair to be darker right so this could be um, more like this and here it could be a little more darker like this right and then for the eyebrows we can do the same we can make this even more darker something like this and what we can do in this case is that we want to we, want, we could we could also like um, make this a little more like um, noticeable like this so you can see right there um, just a slightly variation of this in here um just with the darker uh, hair so yeah we can create different variations and play around with hair or without hair and you know even do more like uh strange um kind of like variations like this um so yeah just feel free to play around a little with the different elements in there and i'm pretty sure that you can find different ideas that could work well so yeah, that's it. I hope you like this tutorial and you can start creating your own characters and your own avatar sets. So feel free to keep exploring ideas, changing styles, and you will soon realize that it's actually quite simple to create a lot of variations from you know these uh, simple elements. All right, that's it. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.